Starting tomorrow at around noon Pacific time, 3 p.m. Eastern, you will begin getting double XP towards gameplay experience. You tried to trick the system and you stayed at six program points in Weekly Wonders 3 and said, hey, tomorrow the 14th, I'm going to get 8,400 from getting seven program points. It doesn't work like that. Like I said previously, it is only for gameplay experience, not program rewards. And you're going to be looking for methods that give you a ton of experience, not only so you can finish this program, but also spin the wheel as many times as you possibly can, get that inning boss pack as many times as you possibly can, and either put it towards set one collections or flip them for stubs and make yourself rich to complete the live series collection. But just know that there is a gameplay XP cap inside of MLB The Show. And whenever the XP is doubled, so is the gameplay XP cap. A reminder, don't forget to hit that like button, or subscribe button, notification bell, aiming for 30,000 subscribers before the start of summer. Check out the description. We got the Twitch, Discord, social medias, and how to become a member. When you reach XP cap, you're going to see it on your screen. It's going to give you a timer and say you will begin earning XP once again from gameplay once this timer runs out. It's usually until the following day, just so you guys know but you will still be able if you complete programs to get the program xp rewards towards that season one xp reward pack the first two xp methods are going to be methods that are not inside of diamond dynasty but we have to dive into the settings first these are going to be road to the show slash exhibition settings and you want to be hitting on beginner difficulty and you also want to be pitching on beginner difficulty that way it's a lot easier and you can put a game on the on, on the side you can put a movie on the side and you can just chill and relax and earn yourself all that experience inside of general you want to go to miscellaneous and you want to make sure that you have open base for base running opportunities because we're also going to be tackling the archetype program inside of road to the show and you also want to have all of your teammates pitches that you see whenever you are on base that way it's not always an action pitch and you never get the chance to steal a base and this lock fielding opportunities is optional if you want to work towards the archetype program and get put out so you're gonna want all and you want to make yourself a first baseman that way every time they throw it to you for an out it counts as a put out and you work towards that archetype program but if you do not care about that and you just want to optimally get as much experience as possible then you're gonna turn this on to none that way you are just hitting 24 7 in presentation all I want you to do is turn presentation mode to fast play I want you to turn off pitch selection cameras and also turn off batter walk up to make things even faster Ball player method is pretty easy you're either working on an existing ball player archetype or you are creating a new ball player archetype and working on that archetype from scratch I already have an existing two-way starting pitching first baseman so what I would be doing is on beginner difficulty I'd be heading into road to the show and playing first base I'd be looking at my road to the show missions and the reason why these road to the show missions are important is because they give you program points and along the reward path not only are you going to be able to obtain perks unlockables but you're also going to have a chance to pull equipment and sometimes you get really lucky and pull diamond equipment out of these packs and those diamond equipment sell for a lot inside of the community market so if you're looking to gain xp while also gaining stubs then ball player is going to be a great method for you now when it comes to the missions listen to me very carefully if you were to pitch nine innings in a game and your mission is to pitch six innings in a game the next game it would and have three out of six innings pitch it caps you off at whatever your mission maximum is so if I were to pitch five innings in a game the next game I would still be at five out of six correct but if I pitch another five innings it's not gonna go ahead and progress me to four out of six in my following game instead it's gonna be zero out of six so you want to be keeping track of all of your missions on the side that way whenever you complete a mission let's say you stole five stolen bases inside of a game you know longer are going to run the bases whenever you get on base and there's an open base you're going to skip to next appearance until you knock out the hits or plate appearances once you knock out the hits and plate appearances then you no longer need to bat inside that game and you will continue on skipping to next appearance until you get fielding opportunities and if you have all of them completed and you're just waiting to start a new game 
then obviously simulate to the end of the game and then play the next game. You do not need to return to the clubhouse in order to see where your progress is because as long as you're keeping track of it, you'll be able to see it. But if you ever forget, then return to the clubhouse and then hop into another game. But always keep in mind that you want to equip the new skill set as soon as you obtain it. That way you start working towards the next archetype program. And also keep in mind that you get a ton of dynamic challenges inside of Road to the Show that give you plus three program stars for completing it. So make sure you pick the easiest one that you can do in order to go ahead and knock it out. And I'm not using any custom stadiums or custom rosters. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just simply going in there with the default rosters, my default ball player with perks and equipment attached, and just playing on beginner difficulties and going off. I pitched nine innings in one game. And in those nine innings, I got 14 strikeouts in that game. I pitched a complete game despite only needing to pitch six innings and striking out 12 in order to complete the archetype program mission because I wanted to see how much XP I would get for pitching a complete game, which was 1.2K XP with double XP. That's going to be 2.4K XP. I also went ahead and hit in a couple of games. And in my first game, I went four for five. I hit three home runs. I got a single five RBIs and a stolen base. And I probably completed one of the archetype program missions. And I got myself 1.1K XP doubled. That's going to be 2.2K XP. And I was playing DH, so I didn't have any fielding opportunities. That is great experience for just having five at bats. In the second game, I went five for five, two home runs, three doubles, two stolen bases. I got 784 experience, which is 1.5K PXP. There I did have some fielding opportunities, so it did take a lot longer, but 1.5k xp for just hitting and fielding and working towards the archetype program and getting all those rewards is amazing the second method is going to be a little bit different you're going to be heading into create and you're going to go inside the vault once inside the vault you are going to go into rosters and you're going to be looking for a roster similar to this one where it says all zero yankees 99 what does that mean? It means that the Yankees have created players 99 overalls, one through nine, as well as the pitching staff, and then every other MLB team has a one overall roster. Simply what you're gonna do is you're going to download the roster, you're gonna save it just as its name, and then once you save it, you are going to back out of this, go into settings, go into file management, you're gonna go into load, you're gonna load rosters, you're gonna load your saved rosters, and once you load your saved rosters, you are going to go ahead and head into exhibition inside of exhibition it doesn't matter who you're facing because once again all of these teams have zero overalls basically you're gonna make sure to pick the Yankees as your team and you're gonna pick a big stadium such as baseball city once you pick baseball city turn quick counts on and then the temperature and time of the year does not matter you're going to advance and then you're going to press r2 on the starting pitcher that way you are are locked on that starting pitch once entering the game I have my pitching interface as classic why do I have classic as my pitching interface because I don't want to do pinpoint I don't want to do analog I don't want to do meter these guys are one overalls it's not like they're gonna really do any damage to me and I can spam a fastball 24 7 if I truly wanted to with quick counts it makes everything go a whole lot easier and the fact that my entire team is full of 99 overalls it also makes the entire process a whole lot easier I'm not gonna show you guys an entire game but I did go ahead and play an entire nine inning game in which I got roughly 20 strikeouts, maybe a little bit more. So mixing your pitches is going to give you a lot more strikeouts, of course. And I got a total of 1.4K XP. If you go ahead and double that, that's going to be 2.8K experience. Now, the only downside to doing this method is that it only works towards getting you that season one XP reward path points or I should say rewards instead of also working towards your ball player and getting you extra goodies that you could sell for a lot more stuff final method to getting a great amount of experience is going to involve diamond dynasty but diamond dynasty offline you're gonna get all the players that you need pxp missions for and stat missions for you're gonna head into single player mode and you're either gonna do mini seasons to go ahead and get those pxp and stat missions completed while also getting double the xp you're either gonna go into conquest and if you've completed 
completed every single conquest map and start working on nation of baseball one more time and then last but not least you can also do play versus cpu and just run up the score and also get a ton of experience there while also knocking out all those pxp and stat missions in order to complete not only the season one xp reward path but also spin the wheel a bunch of times if you did end up enjoying today's content make sure you hit that like button or subscribe button notification bell check out the description we got our social medias twitch discord how to become a member aiming for 30,000 subscribers before the start of summer have a blessed day and night stay positive stay safe stay blessed and i will catch you all on the next one peace out